Welcome back to another Hearthstone adventure, as we're still trying to get to rank. Or at least, get to rank. <laughs> we need to rank. Uh, we've been playing pretty pretty decently here and there. Um, only one that we're winning with is when we're tank and we're playing Joe. Uh, clearly we're playing with people who are better than us, because we did not get the little captain hat. And look, Miss AVC is on our other, other team now. So things have changed uh, considerably over here. I want a Sylvanas, but uh, I'm in third slot, so I'm just going to watch to see what happens. Uh, Sil? And we banned Sylvanas, so now that's not a pick. That's not a thing anymore. All right. Let's see if we can get someone to leave. Let's see if we can get someone to leave. We got a murky gump coming down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the troll in this. I don't like it, but uh, I, I'm already. Come on, man! Why would you ban our own on our side? Who is their next pick? If it's a tank, then we can't. Hmm. Well, this kind of sucks. Oh, this kind of sucks. This kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna be murky. Oh, look at all the complaints! All the complaints! We're gonna jump. <laughs> look at this! They just go crazy, man! <laughs> Wow, look at look at all of this. All of this. Jeez man, people too serious. I already dislike our team. I want us to lose for that reason. My team complains too much. Should I send a message to Miss AVC and be like, hey man. My team is a jerks. <laughs> he was a bunch of jerks. <sighs> he bent Savannah's for reasons I don't know. For reasons I don't know. I want to know what do you guys think when when somebody <laughs> starts banning stuff that you showed that you're willing to pick. You're not that far from the top, so obviously it's not an issue of a matter of hey, you know what, you're not going to get a chance to pick it. Um, how do you guys feel about that? Do you do what I do right here, where I'm tr I troll who I'm going to be? Obviously, I'm not going to be murky, but I probably would have been Nova. You know, if, if he didn't Genji, I would have definitely Nova. But because he forced whatever he wanted, he forced whatever he wanted. Obviously, uh, if I do the same, then we automatically lose. When you pick three people who have no synergy whatsoever together, I don't know how well, because uh, I don't know um, Mathiel, Malthiel, uh that well to uh, to say, hey, yeah, he synergizes with so and so people. But man, I, when people like this. Pick whatever they want, and they just start to complain. I don't think he even complained. I think it was this guy. I don't know. Did he? Well, we'll have to look. <laughs> but 
yeah, if you're going to complain the whole time, and yet you don't bother to cater to anyone else's picks, no. Like, it's, uh, it doesn't seem very fun. It doesn't seem very fair. Half a reason why that's why I like playing a uh, quick match because you know you could, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Although quick match is so unbalanced right now with who's where and what and who's classified as uh, what kind of character kind of thing. Like I don't know, man. There needs to be some rebalancing of, of what's available in which class. You know, who's actually an assassin? Who's who is a tank? The fact that uh, variants considered multi-class, he has really no. Like, I feel like, unless Varian is picked, he can't be paired up with anyone else other than another Varian. That's how he should be, I feel, in a uh, quick match. Varian can only be paired up with an against another Varian. Because if you have a Varian and the other team has all assassins, and Varian's considered a tank assassin and a bruiser, and all those categories, you know what? I was just like, dude... You can't have him paired up with people who are actually assassins, because it's in game when it's decided what he's gonna be. So I don't know. That's just my point of view. Varian should only be ever paired up with Varian in quick match. Together again, we'll be unstoppable. If these people keep yammering too much, I'm gonna actually probably block them off. The battle begins in 10 seconds. <sighs> well, that would be that entertaining. Let's see what they yammer about. I just don't respond. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. Did they pick their stuff? I guess so. Why not? Hope he got a lot of stacks on that one. Look at this, I'm just giving him. The Dodge Caravan. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, but here you go. Oh, he went beam. Alright, so he's planning to beam me down the whole way. doesn't work if I just do that. Nope. I get some mana. And jo oh, no, you know what? I could actually probably do this instead. Fuck, the fact that he backed up, man, that's, ah, oh, the worst. Although I def desperately need some mana. So, four seconds. Yes. Two, one.
Well, thank you. But either way. Only need uh eight more. We're not gonna get it. The demons have unleashed a frozen punisher. Oh my god, he's an idiot. Ugh. Choose a talent. Our forge is lost. Of course. <laughs> <sighs> A shrine is gathering power, heroes. Honestly, I just don't understand. I don't know where the Reaper fits in this whole thing. So, personally, I just don't understand. Defeat the shrine's guardians and let loose the Punisher upon our foe. I'm not even getting globes, that's, that's the worst part of it all. I can't even get globes in this map. I need to kill... No, he's already finished it, so it didn't matter. The Reaper. <laughs>
Why not? The crusade calls.
is... Man, oh man. Our first Joe loss. Our first Joe loss. That was just tough. I rubbed it in his face. Why? Because I'm a jerk like that. When a guy constantly is a jerk to everyone else when they're trying to pick their stuff. He got to go first, so he decided to force himself and pick a character in which none of us, uh, none of the people that followed up afterwards, uh, picked anyone good for it. Um, definitely, yeah. Maybe his character would have worked a, a little bit better if Genji wasn't picked. But then also, maybe if Falsed was actually a tank as well. Uh, and then by that argument, you could say, oh, well, then maybe if, um, Uther picked something else, you know? And I'm just... There's so many things you could say if, if, if this, this, and this, and this, and this. Uh, or ultimately, I think what it happened was you had a person who was a jerk. He corrupted all of our stuff. And uh, I was a jerk even further by trying to troll that I was going to do Murky or Nova. I wonder if things would have been different if I did Nova anyway. Because uh, I probably could have sniped KT at any given moment. I could start pounding away at uh, Asmodon earlier. Or even a uh, variant. So, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Dude said he never, he hasn't lost a match. I wonder if that's true. Can we go check him out? View profile, match history. <laughs> I haven't lost a match. I haven't lost a match. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, but look at this. He's actually won quite a few of them. And let's take a look at who he won with. Hero League, he won with Varian, Dahaka, Ma uh, Mafirian, and Vala. See, like, automatically, too, he is the assassin only. You know what I mean? In this one, yeah, two tanks. If it's two tanks all the time, two tanks. Oh, let me see. If it's two tanks every time... Alright, this is the only time it wasn't two tanks. Uh, but they also didn't have... I, I think this is just a better setup. I think they're, they're this is actually kind of even. It's just he who kills whoever. So this probably could have been a grueling match. I'm not sure. But the fact that all the other ones were two tanks makes more sense. And the one he lost here... Uh, Crummy probably wrecked them. <laughs> Out of all the people here, it was Crummy who wrecked them. But what's what's kind of interesting is I feel like when he first, I think middle is first pick, right? Because what did we pick? We picked third. Yeah. So it's like middle's first pick. So he was first pick. He wasn't first pick. Uh, he wasn't first pick. He was in the second draft. He's first picked here. I don't know, man. For a person who says he hasn't lost. Like, he looks like the kind of person who just bought the hero. Because now he's new, he's decided to play it over and over again. That's who he is to me. Um, seven games, he's only lost two. He might be higher rank than me. That's kind of interesting. So what do we have? Three losses and uh, five wins. Next two gotta be wins. Next two should be fun matches. 
<sighs> I know if I lose, I think uh, all the other seasons I usually ended up my placement matches, it was either 8, 2, 7, 3, and uh, I think there was one that I had a 6, 4, and that was the time, first time I was in silver. First hollow. Don't ban Nova. Don't ban. Let's see if we can get them enticed. All specialists. I guess Genji's a good one. Hey, we got three! We got three. for the forsaken. Oh, oh, they know. They know. Ben, um, uh, right wing. It's all special or else it's harder. <laughs> all right, we're good. Woo. Here we go. <laughs> we got five specialists on the board. We got them top specialists taken down. Um, Probius is probably going to be a problem. They're definitely going to need something to deal with whatever. Um, I'm going to be the target. Group. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the, I think that's the only thing we can't group. If we group in any given moment, it's uh, it's going to be a problem. Uh, they will have to try to roam around to try to get Kangas. If they stop me in one lane... <sighs> so here's the, th here's the sitch. Probius' lane is going to be the hardest one to push. Uh, so definitely we're going to need Zagara on Probius. Um... Murky is going to have to be on uh, his own lane with Avatar. Uh, Murky and Asmodon can be together. Prepare yourself for battle, heroes. You are as well as anyone on the court these days. Hold your tongue, or I'll tear it out. The battle begins in ten seconds. The moment is upon us. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Da -da -da -da. So all it is is just you just have to be in every lane. The main strategy with all specialists is you just don't uh, get pushed out too hard. So like right here, at, they're uh, what's it called trying to keep us out. Nope. Nope. tribute and Oh. <laughs> A good kill.
The moment is upon us. Gather tribute or face my curse. The choice is simple. I'm here. Choose a talent. Not gonna be able to get it, so I'm going down here. Stop this push that's coming. You shall Not know my cameras. Symbiote implanted. You augmented. Done.
Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? <sighs> Oh my god, dude. my curse. The choice is simple. Fuck. Holy fuck. Question: Why beam? 
Uh, we need to delay now and hope Abby can backdoor. Maybe. Defeat. Never done it that way. MVP. Yeah. Yeah, here. They can poke and heal while we can't. True, true.
and there you have it. <laughs> you can lose. You can lose in that matchup, man. Honestly, I've, I've never had it backfire so hard before. Like, uh, every time I've done it uh, with my with my friends and it's just like it usually works I've just I've never seen it backfire so much unless unless you know uh, maybe I don't know like I, I think really it just comes down to as when I went beam he got the minions which is minion march which is fine but the thing is he's not I don't know where his demons were, if he was pushing it with my lane or whoever's lane it was. Um, I know that they got, uh, what's it called, Probius, which was something we could have definitely used with. Uh, Probius would have been good with us. Yeah, yeah, if we got Probius, that would have definitely changed things. We would have had a much stronger lane push with someone else. And then I probably would have rotated to getting camps uh, as opposed to anything else. Um... And then I would have gone more for a, a camp focus build. Definitely changing for other things. I, I wanted Murky though, because he can get bribe, which means he can get camps on his own fairly easily. Uh, he doesn't need much assistance. Abby can hat him and then just they kind of pick it off and done. Um, but what happens is. He's not getting stacks for bribe because he's not in the lane. So I guess he doesn't need bribe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess Valir might have been more suited for him. It's just, you know what it is? You're... Also, asking people to play characters they probably don't play very often. So. A lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of the things. This is the last match, so let's hopefully we get a good one. Um, we've lost three. We've lost four. Oh my god, we've lost four. We're at a 50-50. We're going to be in bronze. <laughs> no, no, no. 50-50 means we're in silver, if not gold. That's more than likely. You know what's one strategy I've always wanted to do? I've never had been able to because you're not allowed to queue with uh, all healers. I want to have is um, an all healer one. But you're physically not allowed to. If you have five people, you're not allowed to have five healers on your team. It's, it's There's no way to match it up uh, with anybody, so it's not fair in any sense. Uh, you are not even allowed to have all tanks. Uh, you're only allowed to have four. So it's just kind of funny. But if you're ever going to do all healers, this is how you do it. Ready? This is, this is the secret way to get your healers. So the first healer you grab is going to be... Um, if, if you're only picking one person, you're grabbing one healer, you're going to grab uh, Malfurion. He's the first one you're going to grab if you're going first. If you're going second and you get two healers, what you're going to grab is uh, Tassadar as well as um, Tyrant. Because that's a usual, it's a, it's, a, it's a common duo, you'll see. Uh, so you'll do those two. Alright, most people won't, won't be suspicious. <laughs> when you go to the next uh, round, if you're first, if you're first, then you'll pick these two. Uh, if you're first, sorry, uh, yeah, 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 you'll pick these two. 
because if you grab mouth, you're gonna grab these guys, um, and then you're you have those three. If you're second and you have, uh, you've already picked these two because it's a normal common duo. A lot of people will suspect. If you're second, what you're gonna go and do? If they haven't already grabbed mouth, you're gonna grab mouth. If they have grabbed mouth, you're gonna get Lily as well as Uther, uh, or Lily and Karazim. One of those. Those are the. Those are gonna be your frontliners, technically. Mr. Hop. Do we have Mr. Hop? No. Do we have a Roven? No. Jesu, no. <laughs> Let's ask if they want to do it. kicked out. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Want to do an all healer comp? I asked. And disconnected immediately. That's too funny. I want to know if we can get it going. We got an all specialist. We got enough people that were down. Let's just have fun today. Uh, at 4.30, uh, let's have fun. So, I'm going to do my last quest. It's gonna def last match is going to definitely be all healers. And we'll kind of progress from wherever we fall because of that situation. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you're going first, you're going to have mouth picked. Uh, cause nobody's going to suspect you to grab these two afterwards. If you're going to go second, uh, you're going to go and grab these two. Uh, if you're first again and your next pick is two people, uh, that's when you grab these two, if they're still available. If not, you're going to get some combination of Uther, Lily, or Greymane, or Karazim. Ideally, you want to get all of those. Uh, it, the, ideal, the ideal team is these right here with uh, an Uther. If you can't get uh, Malfurion's roots, you want to grab uh, one of these guys. So, this is the ideal team, because these guys, these people right here, these three can do a lot of damage, so can Uther and Malfurion. All f five of these uh, healers can actually do quite a bit of damage. Uh, even these two can do damage, but they're a little bit less to these people, because these ones are more designed to be a little bit more frontline -y. I find like Karazim himself, yeah, he can come in, he can do burst damage, and that's what's great, so you can swap him in for any one of them. But because these ones are all ranged in a sense, uh, keeping them back with only one person in the front always works out uh, fairly well. Although, like, Karazim uh, and Tassadar really go well together with their auto attacks. So if you want to swap out Uther and not have the suns, I'd probably swap Uther for Tyrand. Um, so I'd trade these ones out to have uh, two frontliners and two backline, uh, three backliners. And Lily's kind of like an off in and out, as well as Malfurion. So, I don't know, I just, I find that that would be ideal. If you can't get those ones, maybe even swap in a Morales. Uh, if you want a really heavy one-person frontliner, if you want to have a Morales Karazim, would be kind of interesting. Uh, backing him up with all the rest of the healers. You can do a whole mix. I just don't see, the only ones I don't see fit this kind of criteria is Ariel. Because she doesn't run out of mana, and nobody here does enough high damage to f keep filling up her bar. You know what I mean? So you'd have to get all these other talents to kind of try to make her bar fill up so that way she becomes a healer. But because she's just that kind of healer, what can she really do other than that? You know? Uh, Brightwing himself, all around healing works great, but uh, the damage that she does dishes out is kind of low. And same with Lucio. like His all-around healing is really great. Uh, he can actually kind of help with the chasing, though. So, in and out. I don't know. Rhaegar is really good if you're going to do the Karazim, Uther, uh, and Rhaegar 
as your front line, and then you can have two other ones, even La Lethal Lili. Uh, Bloodless is really good to kind of like push or hammer in. So, I don't know. I think you can always find a way for all the others. Just, I think these, these five actually would be really good. But I think Lili, Uther, Mouth, Karazim, and Tassadar is the dream team. Two frontliners, three, uh, two backliners, and one that's kind of like fluctuates in the middle. Definitely the dream team. Lita does a lot of damage. She definitely needs Lily. She's like high clutch. And Uther has his stuns, which is what you definitely need for some type of lockdown. So, same with Mouth. You definitely need them for lockdown. Mouth, Uther, and Tyran, I guess, are kind of interchangeable because they're the only ones that actually have stun locks. And that's what you need as a healer because you need to still pick people off. Uh, they're going to try to escape over and over again. And yeah, you're not doing high enough damage to just kill them outright. But the stun locks definitely help with engaging, disengaging, picking someone off, uh, someone who's overstepping, thinking that, well, there's not that much damage coming in, you know. Lily is definitely needed because she's going to be that high, high, high damage. Uh, Kurzum definitely will be there as well. I don't know. I think there's there's a lot of possibilities for it. I would, wouldn't mind seeing a one-time play of just all healers. And I'm going to try to see if we can get five people that are down for Hero League all healers. Even if we lose. It'd just be interesting. Let's refresh here. This is the only thing. It's like uh, It's hard to find a match. So here's a recap for anybody who's chiming in on the end of the run. Our first match of Hero League, we won. We had a triple success with Joe on our first three games. We tried to play Sylvanas, but our teammates picked a non-tank to be our tank. Uh, well, non... Well, he's a bruiser, right? So he's not necessarily good at peeling or helping. He's just... I don't know. It just wasn't a good situation. Especially when you have... Uh, two off tanks, if not a possible full tank, and then you have a full tank as well, and an AA attacker. Was well, not going well, especially on a heavy, heavy map that you had to fight. So yeah, that wasn't gonna that wasn't gonna do justice in any way. Um, then we won with Joe again because you know Joe. Uh, then we lost as a Zuljin, mainly because we don't know why it well to be honest yeah we do know why our tanks couldn't go anywhere i couldn't deal with uh, the fact that genji kept <laughs> killing me like crazy uh gray main was just taunting these guys and just like going back and forth back and forth zario is definitely helping out with all their shields Li Ming was doing what she could do and bright wings getting blown up every time she kept coming in and then we joed again uh, on our next match, just because we had to, uh, we were forced in the situation to do so. Um, and then we joed in our other match in an attempt to troll because of the whole situation that was going on. And we lost horribly. Horribly. There was like no chance. We couldn't even sustain the, what was happening to us. Alright, here we go. Friends. We'll see if anyone's willing. Get supports. Anyone order a one man wrecking crew? 
TV, I guess. All right, I guess we're not doing all healers. Uh, it's not a thing. Hanamura, huh? Well, we lost. We lost who we need to have. Um, victory for the forsaken. I think it's sorry. Propius is a really good laner. I'm really hard to deal with uh, as a fellow. We have two solid laners on both sides. I can be with the whole team. Um. Yeah, Val is a good choice, I guess. You don't really think about picking another healer. Normally you want to get rid of people with blind. Uh, bribe. Hanamura, is, there's three ways to play the match. One, you have to have all assassins to straight up fight and kill whoever's there. Uh, another is just to lane, 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 and just get your stuff, and don't worry about the other opponent. And another is actually getting camps. Camps are super key in Hanamura, because it gives you so much XP. So, if you can grab camps, you're good to go. Obviously, they know if I overstep, I'm going to get dived on by Genji. He'll be probably wherever I go, and Diablo will try to do the same. Uh, Brightwing will probably be nearby. And even just uh, cards, you can actually just dive in on me, so. Lots of dive potential. Ooh, we're Platinum 3. There are signs that we're probably Platinum 3. <laughs> or it could be Silver. I, I can never tell if when you look at Platinum and Silver, if they're the same. It, but it kind of has like a purplish tint to it, so it makes me think I'm it's Platinum. Oh, he's eating my cheese. Look at a noob eating my cheese. Here, I'll give it to you again. Battle commences in ten seconds. My will is my own. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Alright, that means Genji's coming down eventually. Not test my there he is! As I attack Genji. Let's get 
get rid of him. Woo! Run away! Oh! <laughs> I almost made it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see what I did there. I just auto attacked Genji while he was on his thing, and then as soon as it was done, I started spamming my Qs so I would fly to him. I'm gonna go up here. Because it's the obvious thing to do. And grab this camp. Get this front wall down real fast. Oh shit! My will is my own. Made it around. While they're doing that, we got the front wall. I kind of want to go down here to push, but it's such a far away away. So, so I'm going to turn this off. And we can deal with this thing real quick. Should give us a lot of mana. Or, uh, sorry, not mana. EXP. While that's happening, we're gonna come up here. And he's dead. <laughs> I don't know what killed him, to be honest. While that's happening, I'm gonna go down this way. I must leave, and I blame this failure upon you. I don't need to be up here anymore. Run away. Get this fountain and do a quick turn around. Another one's gonna go down soon. Well, they're fighting. 
fighting, I'm gonna go this way. Of course. And do this, and we should be good. Triple hit. We need to recruit those mercenaries. Your payload will be redeployed shortly. Payload hiring continue to the enemy payload will be redeployed. And we'll steal this thing real quick. I'm walking too slow. Get there. This should be faster than now that he's stunned. There's a reason why you ban Solanus. There is a reason. Oh my god. I can do it. Ah, uh, they're trying to do a payload. We're near the end. Such a feeble move. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna walk this, I guess. I think they know that if they let this go... This is a stomping. This is a little too too much. You know? It's a little too too much. He stole it from me. I don't know what they're planning to do. There's two nukes at the bottom. The moment is upon us. No, nope, they're gonna get rid of the nukes. Oh 
<laughs> well, I guess that's that. Um, Victory. I don't even know what to say. That that match was a little way too one-sided. Way too one-sided. This is why you don't let Savannah go. You know, you just don't not ban Savannah. Alright, let's see what we got. Platinum 3. That's exactly where we left off last season. But hey, look, we got a little bit more progression than when we left off. Um, so yeah. Six wins. Some things you can do, some things you can't do. And sometimes all specialists doesn't just quite work out. Uh, maybe next time. We'll try to do it out, and maybe in the future, we can try to make an all-healer build, or all-healer um, comp, but we'll have to see for that. Uh, until then, peace, peace.